Whoa, PlayStation Store has a sale going on? Cool, I'll go check it out. All right, store.playstation. Wait, what? You have got to be kidding me. Hi guys, it's that random guy here, and you probably know me as that Sony Pony, which is funny because I own the Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Wii, and Xbox One X, I own the original Xbox One, and I played Jet Set Radio Future on the channel not too long ago. I usually play Sony products because they make games I enjoy, and a lot of the niche Japanese RPGs come solely to PlayStation, though Nintendo's been getting them a lot lately as well. So. I'd say I'm a PlayStation fanboy. I also have a gaming PC, so there are other options for me. But I've been locked out of my PlayStation Network account. Now, <laughs> the thing is, is that that's taken away 10 grand's worth of products. And as you can see rolling by in the background via my emails, it could actually be way more than that. I kind of lost count <laughs> going through nine years worth of emails. So I'm pretty livid. I've called through to Sony support on their phone service, which uh, thankfully is toll free. However, there is a big issue. It's not a support service. In fact, they don't have any access to your account at all. I called through and I spoke to a number of people and none of them were able to help me whatsoever. Why do they exist? I've worked in a contact center and I can tell you I was able to do at least some first level support. So why are they there? I think they're a smoke screen. They're just a hole in which you call up and nothing happens. I spoke to a lady, first of all, can't remember her name now, but she couldn't wait to get me off the phone. And I gotta say, I was pretty disgusted at that. She told me to email Sony support, and I did. That's exactly what I did. And 30 hours went by, and nothing. I couldn't believe it. As you can uh, probably presume, I was a little ticked off. So I called back and I spoke to a fella called Sam. Now Sam had less of an idea of how he could do his job and that really irritated me. I asked him, hey what's being done about my incident? Gave him the incident number and he said, your account's been banned, okay? I could not believe it. What's okay about this? Sony has stolen from me upwards of $10,000 worth of products. And as you can see, I'm a loyal, loyal customer. So it's not okay, Sam. So Sam says to me, hey, I'll put you through to a supervisor because I requested to speak to somebody that can actually help me. And then he hung up. Now, I was trying everything I could to stay calm, remembering all the Zen mantras I might have learned out there in the wispy wilds in the Himalayas. And I call up. Hi, Sam. That's right. I got Sam again. Um, you hung up on me. No, I thought you hung up on me. Don't lie to me, Sam. That was the thing that irritated me the most. He lied to me. He, in fact, 100% hung up on me. So I asked him, can I be put through to a supervisor now, please? He said, no, I can't do that. I have to put you in a queue. Oh, a queue, Sam. So I asked Sam a simple question. How long is it going to take for a supervisor to get back to me, Sam? He said he didn't know. I said, in your experience, how long has it taken for a supervisor to call back? He says, I can't say, and then he hung up on me. Now, as you can probably guess, I was, uh, how they say in France, pissed off. So, I call him up, once again, and guess who I get? That's right, our best friend, Sam. Hi Sam, I said. Um, you hung up on me again. Oh sorry, um, I can't give you information I don't have. All I need is an estimate, Sam. Right, in your experience, yours, Sam, you and I, tell me. He said, I want to be honest with you. I then retorted with, if you want to be honest with me, Sam, tell me. I'll be honest with you. My name is Floyd Norman. You've taken 10 grand's worth of products away from me for no reason whatsoever. I've been provided no documentation or no communication as to why this happened. And I can tell you right now, I'm protected by the New Zealand Guarantees Act. And let me tell you, Sam started shifting in his little boots. He says to me, I can't give you that information. And he hung up on me. Oh, oh Sam, don't be doing that, Sam. So I call through, and this time I get a chipper Scottish gentleman by the name of Joshua. Joshua's chipper, he's all happy as Larry, and he says, Hi, can I help you today? 
I gave Joshua the rundown. Hey, your colleague Sam has hung up on me like three times now. He apologized for that. Then I went ahead and gave him my incident number. He said, hey, a supervisor is going to be calling you back. I then replied, Joshua, can you tell me how long that will take? Joshua, without skipping a beat, said it will take 25 to 48 hours. How hard was that, Sam? How hard was that? I thanked Joshua for being so honest and open with me, but I said to him, it's actually disgusting that customers have to wait this long for help. Because, let me tell you, if I am not looked after, very, very soon, I will be going to Fair Go, who uh, look after New Zealand consumers. Joshua said, I understand, and he went about his day. Thank you, Joshua. I just want to take a moment here to thank Joshua. Legitimately, thank you for being the only person on your phone service that ever treated me like a human being. So, here I am. I'm sat down, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. So, nobody gets back to me. I then send an email to Fair Go. As I mentioned earlier, they look after New Zealand consumers, and they're bloody good at their jobs. I said to Fair Go, what's happened to me? Why I'm actually quite livid, and I desperately need their help. Because I want to seek legal recourse against Sony PlayStation. I CC'd in PlayStation support, and lo and behold, guess which email they reply straight to? Not a robotics reply, this was a human being's reply. That's right, the email I sent to Fair Go. I couldn't believe it. All it took for me was to go to somebody that it will actually help me legally for Sony to actually move. Sony, that's not on. I want to paint you guys a little picture here. I had an issue with my Microsoft account. As you all know, I have an Xbox One. And I said, hey, um, there's been some strange activity on my account. Um, there's been purchases made that I never made. Microsoft looked into it, and they're like, oh, we can definitely see that. They got me, sent me a change your password link. I changed my password because I actually couldn't get in, so somebody had changed my password for me, and they were able to refund me that money. It did take a couple of weeks to come back through, but I definitely got that money. They had lovely, lovely staff who couldn't do more to help me. A truly wonderful customer experience. And the funny thing is, I'm not even an Xbox fan. <laughs> so this company... I've literally probably spent, I'd say, probably maybe only about probably $900 in their ballpark. And um, they were able to help me lickety-split, no questions asked. What a wonderful, truly wonderful experience. If they made products I actually enjoyed, I probably would be an Xbox fanboy. And here I am, a Sony pony. And as the name implies, Sony took me for a ride. Sony, please, reinstate my account. I just turned 30 today, and... I don't want this to be my birthday present. It's a pretty bad birthday present. Please, Sony. Again, looking at all the purchases I've made, I'm a loyal, loyal customer. Please, reinstate my account. Let's be honest though, I don't think you guys care.